What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Let me say shout out to Ron Oliver, who sent me some new tracks. I think he's trying to say it's trying to take it up another level. What's up, good people? I hope you guys are having a great, finally, freaking Friday. We'll be doing our live stream here at the Red Brick House tonight, where we have been working on this place. This place is coming along. It is going to be in the mid-90s out here, but you know what? We're going to be cool inside. It's 72 degrees. Feels wonderful. We're getting better lighting and everything else. This place is going to be the place to be. Yes. So, we are here with the Dallas Cowboys getting back out on the field. Yes, come Monday, first padded practice. They'll be getting at it Monday and Tuesday. We'll see what they do on Wednesday. Last year, it was Monday and Tuesday padded practices. Wednesday was a walkthrough uh, practice. We'll oh, excuse me, walk through scrimmage. We'll see what they do because they're subject to change. Here's the thing. I don't know if you guys heard this yesterday or not. Micah Parsons, you know what? Uh, the great, great philosopher the great philosopher said, if you're going to talk the talk, then walk the walk. Yes, Jimmy Johnson, quoting Jimmy Johnson. If you're going to talk shit, you better be prepared to back it up. Micah Parsons holds no punches, gives no Fs. He has said, we are the best team in the NFC. We didn't lose Hargrave and then draft somebody. We got everybody. Shots fired. Shots fired over the bow of the Eagles. Micah Parsons didn't just say that. He believes that. He's going to live that. And he's put in the work to make that happen. And that, my friends, is a leader. We'll see what happens on the field. We'll see how health goes. I love that. I love that. It wasn't taking a knock at the Eagles, per se, and all that. It's confidence in himself as well as his teammates. And quite frankly, I have to be honest with you, from where we were last year from a talent standpoint to where we are right now, we are a better team. We're still a very, very young team, but we're a very experienced team. When you think about Micah Parsons, who's just entering his third year, when you think about Diggs, who's entering his fourth year, when you think about CeeDee Lamb, who's entering his fourth year, when you think about a Tyler Smith, who is going into his second year, and when you think about Biotish, who's going into his fifth year or fourth year, fourth year, you think of Terrence Steele, who, by the way, has been cleared to practice. I forgot to tell you guys about that on Tuesday. Entering his third year, this is a very young roster. I know people keep saying that the window is closing for the Cowboys. I don't see that. I see the Cowboys with the next generation of cornerstone pieces already in place. And with the way quarterbacks play now till their late 30s and into their 40s, you got a quarterback. Now it's about supplementing those guys that you have. The Cowboys haven't done a Rams or a Tampa Bay all in per se. They've been constantly building through the draft and finding homegrown talent. And that has served them well. It's been close. It's where you're competitive every year. It just hasn't been enough to get over the hump. And to me, the biggest problem for me is the Cowboys having depth. And this has been the case for so long. You can't argue with our players, front line starters. The problem has been is when you go from a Tyron Smith to a Chaz Green, that the drop-off has been that much. You've gone from a pro perennial pro bowler to a guy who maybe shouldn't be in the league. And that has been our problem. You know, it's comical to me how, well, I'll get to that in a second. We've got, of course, Digs with a minor ankle injury, soft, you know, and this is the time where we get the soft tissue injuries and things like that. 
course, we know Donovan Wilson's going to be out four to six weeks with the calf injury and so on. Um, but we're seeing teams around the league that are having problems. Buffalo lost a running back for the season. You see Joe Burrow is, you know, got the calf injury. He's going to be out some time. You've seen Jalen Ramsey may be out until December. Unfortunately, health is the key in football, having your guys. And that's the biggest thing that always will keep you up is, you know, will Tyron Smith be able to hold up? Will um, Terrence Steele be 100% getting out there? You know, those are the questions that can make or break the season. And it can be, if those guys are healthy, this offense is ready to explode. Now, the thing that drives me crazy, of course, is how everything is focused on Dak Prescott's interceptions. You know, here's a real question, okay? And, and th it's funny because that's the only knock they can get on Dak Prescott. If there was something else that they could get on Dak Prescott, they would. But it's kind of like that's the sore that they keep, you know, pushing on. Would you rather have, you know, Baker Mayfield? Baker Mayfield didn't turn over the ball a lot last year, right? Baker Mayfield? Yeah, he, he texted me and said, I won't, you know. Baker Mayfield didn't turn the ball over a lot last year, but he couldn't score. And when you look at this, you would think that Dak Prescott was doing a... Um, it's Mark Malone from the Steelers in the Super Bowl where he was throwing the ball literally to Larry Brown and there's nobody else there. It's not the case. There have been some of the greatest quarterbacks in the history of football that have thrown twice as many interceptions. But this is the only thing that they have on you. And this is where it's funny because they make you think that Dak Prescott is the only guy who will throw an interception in training camp and throw an interception in football. And it's done on a daily basis. I don't ever hear them talking about Josh Allen is the window closing for Buffalo because they've been up there. They've got issues with Stephon Diggs. Their roster is getting older. And that Josh Allen needs to limit the turnovers who he led the league with with the fumbles and interceptions. But let's listen. Today, this is what I'm and it's much too hot to play golf. So I thought I'd see one of these movies everyone's talking about. On my Twitter, at ESPN Greeny, which one should I go see, Barbie or Oppenheimer? And I will tell you that Kmart this morning, and everyone in the hair and makeup uh, believes I should go see Barbie. Yes. Uh, and even going all by myself, I feel like that would be very on brand. It would be totally on brand, which is why I don't even understand how this is a question, Greeny. But right now, 83% of those participating think I should see Oppenheimer. You can go to my Twitter page at ESPN Greedy. Plan my day for me. Lord knows someone needs to. In the meantime, That's let's get to Kmart here. Let's talk about the Cowboys. The big question surrounding Dallas this season. Will Dak Prescott limit his turnovers? He threw 15 picks in 12 games last year, the most in his career. Yesterday, he made a promise for this upcoming season. I am going to lessen my interception numbers. I am going to lessen my interception numbers. Uh, that is a guarantee. To me, it just speaks urgency. It just speaks urgency. Um, yeah, blessed to play this game, blessed to be in this organization. But as you see, this is a business. It's not forever for everybody. And um, I know what I want to do. I know what I want to accomplish. And uh, I know what this team wants. And mm -hmm. um, it's about that now. Yeah. All right, it's about the guarantee. I love it. My team. <laughs> The lot of Mike, Mike is every day. What about that you didn't like? I'll tell you this, Greeny. Mike McCarthy will pump the ball on third down before Dak Prescott throws interception this year. <laughs> he said that in March. He fired Kellen Moore. He said we're going to run the ball. You know, this was a team that scored you know, prolifically that. last year, seventh in the league in offensive efficiency. There is no way Mike McCarthy is going to let Dak throw uh, interceptions. That's the guarantee. I promise you that. Ninko, what do you think? I think that if Mike was the GM, he would have Dak and Sean Payton come in his office and sit down for a chat. <laughs> Sean Payton. Listen, at this point right now, he, he has to take care of the football. That's the main point of emphasis, take care of the ball. So I have no issues with it. I'm going to throw less than the, how many, 15 last year? He better. Dang. 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 
He better. Yeah. Dang. Dang. Yeah. Does it feel like there is a window closing in Dallas? There we go. When you look at the roster, the it's window not should not be closing. But when you look at how this team has performed, you wonder this season will determine a lot as far as Mike McCarthy's future as a head coach and Dak Prescott. If somehow they disappoint again, there are going to be questions about do they have the right quarterback and do they have the right head coach. And if you have to change one of those, I think that resets the clock, and that's the only thing that worries me. About okay. that. I think that's fair. And a little later in this program, we will ask the so, question, if this thing does go sideways, is it the coach or the quarterback? And, uh, hey, Kmart, did you see this? So Saquon Barkley's in camp now. Oh, this is, this is actually and kind of cool. And a fan comes with a sign that says, my ex will take me back if you sign this, and he did it. What do you think of all this? Not only did Saquon save the Giants' season by showing up to camp, look, he got here saving lives. Seriously. <laughs> saving <laughs> lives. He is a saint. Is that all it would take to get you to make up with your husband? Lives. Like if he was in real trouble? Like if he just got something signed? Would that, would that uh, cut the mustard? I would have needed Saquon to do a little I, uh, video type of I video situation. Charge, right? Say my name, probably. Yeah. 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 Take so, it back, baby, please. Like yeah. army. <laughs> All right, so that's where we are, of course. The Cowboys, the only team that throws interceptions, the only team only that team. the only team that only has team. offensive issues. Everybody else in the league is great. So we're gonna go ahead and get to work. Say hello to my my say hello to my little friend, <laughs> Jet D in the house, finishing up the tile and things. Um, I've got some work to do over at my in-laws, but I'll be back here plastering walls and doing some other great things here. I appreciate you guys. We'll be here live, 9 o'clock Eastern. I hope you guys will be here. We'll have any news on the Dallas Cowboys and breaking news throughout the NFL. And hopefully it's not too many people breaking like yesterday. Peace. <laughs>